Okay, so last time we we wrote a simple Node.js Express web application. That was pretty cool. Um, you can write your entire web application in a single JavaScript file. In fact, that's what we did a couple of days ago. Um, however, as our applications get more complicated and we have more and more features, um, we we don't want to do that. Um, we want to like split up our code into multiple functions, multiple different files to make it easier to manage, decompose that responsibility, things like that. So that's what we're going to focus on first today. Um, the first thing that starts to get overwhelming is the routes, this section of our code here, where right now we only have a single route, um, a single endpoint, just the root of our, of our website, our web application, um, and we're just printing something out. Um, in an actual web application, in this one over the next couple of days, we're going to have more and more routes. And so a natural candidate for um, a little bit of decomposition is to move all of this functionality into a separate file. Okay, so that's what we're going to do first today. So what we're going to do first is we're going to actually copy all of this code. So just highlight everything from the comment about the route through the end of the app.get method for that route, copy all of that, and then open up your server um, folder. And inside your server folder, you'll see a routes folder. Um, and we're gonna create a new file in here. So what I do is I right click on routes and I say new file, and it will create a new file in the routes folder. Um, and I'm gonna name this router.js. Um, if you clicked the button up here to make a new file, that's fine, but it's going to put it at the root of the project and you'll need to drag it into the routes folder. Okay. Um, so what are we going to put here? We're going to paste all of that code. And we have to add a couple lines of code to the beginning. Okay. Um, so we still need to um, have access to um, a couple of node modules. Um, and so we're going to require those and, and create those up here. So we're still going to say const um, express equals require express. This is exactly the same as what we had um, in our previous file. So we'll keep, we'll keep that around. Um, and then using, remember express gives us access to that, um, a reference to that function, that express function on which we can call other things. So just to connect this back to before, here's where we required express before, and then we invoked it to actually make our new application. Um, we can also call methods on that express object, um, instead of like constructing a new app. So in router.js here, we're going to create a second variable, const route equals express.router. And this will create a new router object associated with our express application um, and assign a reference to that object to our variable route. So we pasted in all of this code, but we need to change it slightly. Um, because we're not going to be invoking the get method on the express application within this, this function. Instead, we're going to invoke the get method um, on this route object that we got, that we created and obtained from our express application. So this is a little bit more sophisticated of an approach for routing, and it's going to enable, enable us to do some more advanced things um, in upcoming days. So we're going to replace the variable app here, which an app isn't defined in this script anyway. So we're going to change app here to route. Um, and now everything else stays the same. The route has the same get method, takes the same parameters, function, everything um, to do what we were doing before. All right, so I'm going to save this file. We're good to go here. And now I'm going to go back to the server.js file and going to change this code to instead of having 
all the code here, we're going to rely upon the route. So I'm going to actually delete all the stuff we copied and pasted. I was just scared of deleting it earlier in case I made a mistake. So I'll delete it now. Um, and I'm going to replace it um, with a single line of code. So here first in the comment, I'm going to explain why we're doing this. To keep this file manageable, 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 there we go. We will move the routes to a separate file. The exported router object is an example of middleware. Okay, so a couple days ago we talked about middleware in terms of um, the software that we can insert between um, our front end and back end, and it, we can have a whole set of layers of middleware within our Express application to add different functionality. Here's our first example of inserting some middleware into our Express application. Um, and the way we insert middleware is on the app Express application object, which is we reference by our variable app, we invoke the method or function use. And there's a lot of different ways we can invoke the use function. In this particular case, we're going to say for any endpoint um, that starts with like a slash, which basically means the entire server <laughs> or any endpoints on our web application, um, we are going to require, mean we're going to pull in another JavaScript file. And then when in the require, function, we specify a path to the JavaScript file we're requiring. So our path would be dot slash. So dot is like our current project directory. Slash um, is the root of that. Server is this folder here. Inside the server folder is routes. Inside the routes folder is router. When we do the require, we do not include the .js. The require function assumes we're requiring a JavaScript um, file. It assumes the .js. So we just specify the path and the name of the file, but not the extension. In a way, this base, what this basically says is, hey, if the endpoint has pretty much anything, you know, starting at the root, go off to this file instead to handle um, responding to that HTTP request. What we just did together um, is an example of refactoring. Okay, so refactoring is a, a software engineering technique where we don't change any functionality of the code, but we improve it through some other manner like conciseness, organization, clarity, different framework, whatever it happens to be. So we just did a refactoring technique where we demoted responsibility to a separate file um, and we didn't change any functionality, meaning if we now run this, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, let me see. It is not a fan of my include. All right, let me check on that probably made some mistake. App.use require server routes router. That looks pretty good. All right, maybe I made a mistake in the other file. Let me switch to there. We require express. We made the route. Route.get, that looks good. Oh, 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 so sorry. Oh, um. There's a really important line that I forgot at the end here. So um, oh, let's look at the error because you will probably see things like this. Um, so we got an error. 
It says router.use requires a middleware function, but just got like this other thing. Um, requires a middleware function, but got an object. All right, so this is indicative that in server.js, where we're requiring this other JavaScript thing, it doesn't look like um, a module, okay? Um, something is, is missing. And what's missing is when we want to require a JavaScript file from another JavaScript file, we have to um, specify what is exported from this module. Yeah, we're going to do it in a slightly different way. Um, so at the end of router.js, we're going to do module.exports, and we're going to actually specify what is exported from this module, and we're going to export our route object. Okay. Um, so that means this route object that we created here and would normally be scoped only to this file, when this file is required by some other file, like server.js, um, what will be returned here is a reference to that route object. Yeah, you can definitely export multiple methods, but then we would have to change this code to specify which object we wanted, but yes. But in this case, we only need to export one thing, so we'll keep it simple and be able to leave this just with the require statement. All right. So again, my mistake, sorry. We have to add this line of code, which I forgot. Now if we run it, it should work. Oh, wrong file, server, run. All right, we'll open this up. Cool, it still works. Um, we still have a web application like we had before no noticeable behavior change. So that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna commit my changes right now because this is, we're gonna do something more, don't worry. But I feel like this is like, we just did something useful. Um, so I'm gonna say refactor um, to decompose route responsibility. There you go, responsibility. And I'm gonna commit those changes now. Um, this way, when I go back and look at our class notes, I can see like this particular step. And if you need to go back and look at our class notes, you can see this particular step as well. <laughs> 